Have you ever done something nice for someone and they didn't say thank you after? It feels really bad when that happens, right? Because you just spent all this time doing something nice for someone and they didn't even say thank you. But let's flip that. Has anyone ever done something nice for you and you didn't say thank you or show your appreciation after? Maybe you were just caught up in the moment or maybe you were too busy and you realize later that you just never said thank you to them. Let me tell you a story. This story comes from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. So one day Jesus was walking through Jerusalem and he saw 10 lepers. And he walked over to the lepers and they said to him, Jesus, master, have pity on us. So Jesus told them to go show themselves to their priests. And as they made their way over to the priests, they were cleansed. They were healed from their leprosy. For those of you who don't know what leprosy is, it is a skin disease that kind of makes your skin peel a lot. And it makes it so that a lot of people don't want to be around you if you have it. And so people with leprosy were told that they always had to go be by themselves because nobody wanted to be around them. So the 10 lepers had just been healed from their leprosy. They were cleansed. And one man noticed that he was now made clean and he ran back to Jesus and he fell at Jesus' feet. And he said, thank you for making me clean. And Jesus looked at the man and he said, weren't all 10 of you made clean? Where are the other nine? And then Jesus said to the man, Rise and go, your faith has made you clean. Even Jesus, who performs miracles and who heals people, doesn't get a thank you all the time. And sometimes we're so busy asking Jesus for things that we forget to thank him for what he has done. Showing our appreciation for people when they do nice things for us is so important because it shows them that we care about what they're doing. It shows us that you just took so much time out of your day to do this nice thing for me and I am so thankful for it. So we need to make sure that even in times when things are getting super busy and we're running from here and we're running from there and all of these things, even when that's happening, We still have to take the time to remember to thank people for what they've done. And with Jesus, we need to make time to spend time with him through prayer, through reading our Bible, and just spending time with him, thanking him for what he has done for us. Let's do that now by praying. Dear God, I just want to thank you for this day, and I want to thank you for everything you've done for us in the past, everything you're doing for us now, and everything you're going to do for us in the future. And I just pray that even when life gets busy, we remember to take the time to thank you for the things that you are doing for us. And we also take the time to remember to thank other people for the kind things that they are doing for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Your challenge for this week is to write a thank you note. So what I want you to do is think of just one person. It could be your mom or dad. It could be grandma, grandpa. It could be a teacher. It could be your church teacher. Whoever it is, somebody who is really special to you, who has done kind things for you. And I want you to write them a thank you note, thanking them for the things that they have done for you. And as you write that note, I want you to pray and thank God for them and for what they have done for you. And then I want you to actually give them the note. So whether you have to mail it or email it or physically hand it to them next time you see them, I want you to give them that thank you note so that they can actually see how appreciative you are of the kind things that they're doing for you. I'll see you later.